Top 15 Pros and Cons of Building a Shipping Container House Hello everyone. Welcome to this week's video. Shipping containers are interchangeably referred to as cargo containers. The invention of standardized shipping containers has been instrumental in boosting global trade in the 20th century. Today, there are roughly 11 million shipping containers in the world, and on any given day, there are between 5 to 6 million shipping containers on the high seas transporting cargo. With the rising cost of building and more people becoming environmental conscious. Building with shipping containers is becoming a new fad for green building and also an alternative cost effective material for building a new house. If you love shipping container homes, or are exploring the possibilities of building your own, this video brings to you the top 15 pros and cons of building a shipping container house, starting with the advantages. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for our weekly videos on shipping container home design. Number 15. Containers are largely available. There is an estimate of 17 million steel containers around the world, and 11 million of them are not in use. A large amount of cargo containers are discarded in ports across the globe because of one-way shipments caused by trade deficit with China. It is cheaper to buy new containers from China than transport empty containers back to the port of origin. This has therefore made for a huge volume of retired containers that can easily be purchased at low prices and converted into shipping container homes. Number 14. Container homes are portable. Shipping containers are easily transported from place to place by a truck, rail or ship since they already are built to standard shipping requirements. They are all 8 foot wide and vary in lengths from 8 to 56 feet. They range from 8 feet, to 9 feet in height. Acquiring a module and having it shipped to a residential location for home building is not a problem. The container home can be moved at any time. If you decide to sell, or if you want to place it on a different piece of land. The resale value on the container home is very high because of its ability to be transported anywhere on the planet. Portability makes shipping container homes a very ideal option for emergency shelter during disasters. In some instances you can get containers for free to build your dream house. Number 13. Container homes are structurally sound. Shipping containers are built to withstand the harsh conditions of ocean travel. They are designed to bear heavy loading and withstand harsh climatic conditions, as well as rough handling. Shipping containers have been designed to be stacked one on top of the other making them ideal for multi-story homes. Containers can be stacked comfortably to create buildings up to 8 stories without any special reinforcement. Container homes are ideal for locations with harsh conditions and on difficult sites. They can make perfect homes in areas with the high risk of hurricanes and earthquakes thanks to the fact that modular elements can be welded together making them even sturdier. Onagar Wood Temporary Container Housing and Community Center by Shijer Nuban is a good example of emergency shelter. Number 12. Container Homes Are Fast to Build Shipping container homes can be incredibly fast to build compared to conventional houses. The main reason for this is that, when you purchase a shipping container, you already have the walls, the floor, the roof, and the ceiling for your home, you just need to apply insulation and interior finishing. A torch or fireman's saw is used to cut off sections for doors and windows. As a DIY project, in locations without electricity, the containers can be pre-cut off site, then delivered on your land. On-site assembly is a quick process which can be completed within weeks. The Ripple Container House, Ireland's first fully compliant shipping container home was built in a record three days, and was ready for display at the Irish Museum of Modern Art in Dublin. Number 11. Container Homes are Eco-Friendly. 
Since most container houses are smaller than standard homes, less land is required to build a container home. The reduction of the building footprint means less resources used hence good for the environment. There are millions of shipping containers that are not in use. Reusing these containers as homes saves a lot of energy that would otherwise be wasted in melting them down. Reusing a single 40-foot container upcycles about 3,500 kilograms of steel, and saves about 8,000 kilowatt-hours of energy that would otherwise be needed to melt it down. Repurposing it only uses about 400 kilowatt-hours of energy during welding and grinding. Using containers also reduces the use of conventional materials like bricks, timber and cement which are major contributors of greenhouse gases that cause global warming. Number 10. Modular Container Homes. ISO shipping containers come as standardized modules with default height, length and width. This alone, makes shipping containers perfect building blocks for modular homes. The benefit of building a shipping container home is that they can be built extremely quickly and precisely in a factory, with all installations, then delivered to your site saving you money on the overall construction. Several global companies such as, Montana, a Montana-based startup that wants to make it easier for everyone to become a homeowner, with shipping container homes. Their revamped shipping containers start at $55,000, and the company handles all the permits needed to make your dream home reality. Connecting the house to the sewer and power grid when delivered on site is all you need to do and move in. In remote locations, off-grid power like solar is a perfect option to enhance its green building credentials. Number 9. A container home can be a steel security box. This is great if you are traveling or are planning to leave your car at home for several months. You can fit your car or truck into one and lock up all your stuff in one while you are away. Container doors can also act as fully lockable security doors in cases where end panels are fully glazed. C192 Nomad Cargo Texture Container Box by Hybrid Architecture, take the steel security box idea to a whole new level. The home comes fully equipped plus a steel sliding barn door made from the steel cutouts for the full height door openings. Number 8. Container modules offer flexible design layout options. Shipping containers as single modules can be quite limiting. As multiple modules, they offer numerous placement layout options that create interesting designs for homes. The steel cutouts for openings can be reused to cover the gaps between the modules. Various materials can be incorporated to give the house an interesting makeover. Beachbox Budina is an interesting example. It is a modern beachside home built using three shipping containers arranged at splayed angles and separated from each other with linking decks courtyards and an internal sitting area create a dynamic and playful series of spaces, at a modest budget of 170,000 Australian dollars. With so many good things to say about shipping containers, let us look at a few pitfalls you need to consider before building a shipping container home. Number 7. Container Indoor Climate Control is a challenge. Steel is a good conductor of heat therefore, the home will need to be insulated better than most brick, wood or cement dwellings, especially in regions with extreme temperature variations. Without a thoughtful and comprehensive temperature control strategy, your shipping container home could be absolutely freezing in cold climates or a smoking hot box in summer. Because a single steel wall conducts heat, condensation can easily form on the interior walls. Interior air can become moist and form rust. The container should be adequately sealed and insulated to allow proper breathing within the wall cavities. Number 6. Containers have rigid dimensions. ISO shipping containers come as standardized modules with default height, length and width. An individual container creates an awkward living or working space. With insulation. The habitable space is reduced even further leaving you with a long narrow box with a dwarfed headroom. To make an adequate habitable spaces, 
home builders must adhere to their default sizes of 20 or 40 foot and combine multiple boxes to create larger spaces. Cutting into the steel and designing non-conforming additions is time-consuming and can be more expensive than conventional methods. Graceville Container House by Ziegler Build is a stunning example of combining multiple modules from 31 shipping containers to build a four-bedroomed, 6,000 square foot home in Brisbane, Australia. Number 5. Container Homes Can Be Health Hazards A real concern about homes built from containers is the possibility of multiple toxic exposures. Keep in mind that the timber floors of cargo containers have been treated with insecticides during manufacturing to meet global quarantine requirements for safe imports and exports. When repurposing a unit for human habitation, it is necessary to remove and dispose of the timber floors. To remedy any toxic wall paint finishes and toxic spillages and contamination from various cargo products. Sandblast all internal surfaces down to the bare metal, then seal and repaint with non-toxic paint. Number 4. Finding contractors with experience is hectic. Shipping container homes are relatively a new way of building across the globe. Finding a building contractor who has experience in building a shipping container home, can be one of the hardest things to do when you want to build one. Most people want to build their shipping container homes themselves, however sometimes this just isn't possible either because they don't have enough time, or they don't have previous DIY experience. Ensure you get a contractor with experience so they will be able to advise you and guide you throughout the process and deliver the project within budget. Number 3. Cutting containers creates structural weaknesses. If you're making cuts and major changes to your container, it's probably a good idea to consult an expert. The long, vertical walls on a container are load-bearing and will need steel reinforcement if cut out for windows or doors. Planning for electrical and plumbing requires professionals, especially to pass permit and planning requirements. Even though the corners of a unit are extremely strong, the roof and walls are not. The modules are designed to be stacked at the corners. Loading at any other position or making openings in the roof and walls introduces weak points calling for further reinforcement with steel sections. Number 2. On-site construction challenges. The sheer size and weight of the modules generally require a crane or forklift to place each container on location. Inspect each container carefully before purchase. Containers damaged in transport by collisions, heavy loads and general friction are prone to rusting and should not be used for construction. On sites that are off-grid, on-site welding and steel cutting can be quite a challenge. In this case, you can convert a shipping container at a local workshop and then deliver the finished shipping container home to your site. Last but not least, at number 1. Restrictive Building Permits and Building Codes This certainly can be one of the hardest part of building a shipping container home. However, this issue isn't just unique to shipping container homes, it's applicable to all new homes which are built in the United States and other parts of the world, regardless of their construction material. Building with steel for industrial construction is understood but using steel for residential housing is not as common, so you may have some trouble in obtaining a building permit. If your land lies outside of city zoning, this means your land lies outside of the building permit regulations, you can build there without a permit. Just like traditional home construction, shipping container homes have their drawbacks. If most of the shortcomings are addressed, Building a shipping container home can be one of the most rewarding experiences. Did you find our analysis exhaustive and informative enough to help you start your container home project? If you feel we have left out something, kindly let us know by posting in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe for our weekly videos on shipping container homes. See you in the next video.